Let's discuss placebo and nocebo effects. I want to start with study from 1955 where soldiers were given morphine or placebo for pain relief. Placebo was solid. Uh, to say simple, it was water. Uh, and there was similar pain relief, but placebo was effective in case of 40% and morphine was effective in case of 60%. So morphine was superior to placebo, but in 40%, placebo was also effective and it has similar level of pain relief. It, it was huge discovery. Uh, placebo is not new. It, it's used since ancient times, but studies nowadays confirm placebo effects. And what's the idea of placebo effect? Placebo effect is when inert substance or medical manipulation have real therapeutic effect. This effect mostly is pain relief, but it can be different kind of uh, therapeutic effects, uh, like uh, decrease of depression symptoms uh, or improved breathing in case of asthma. And what is nocebo effects? Nocebo effects is totally uh, opposite of placebo effect. It is when inert substance substances have harmful effects. For example, well-known example is that when people with cancer give medication and saying that this chemotherapy can have some harmful effects like nausea and vomiting and you giving them uh, placebo or any inert uh, inert um, molecules, inert uh, pills, maybe sugar pills or any other inert uh, substances, they have nausea and vomiting. Despite they don't, they, they don't get any real medicine, they still have symptoms, but harmful symptoms. That's a nocebo effect. So nocebo effect is if you expect something bad, this bad will happen. Placebo effect is, if you expect something good, this good will happen. That's the idea. And uh, now that, let's say what is usage of placebo effect. First is clinical trials. Placebo effect is widely uh, used in clinical trials. They get two groups, one group are given real medicine, another placebo, and they comparing. And if this medicine is superior to placebo, so this medicine is effective because both of them can have some uh, positive, uh, positive effects because of placebo effect. And if medicine is not superior to placebo and is this difference is not statistically important, then this this uh, medicine is considered as placebo in case of this disease. Another usage, uh, I should say clearly here that placebo should not be used as substitute of any evidence-based medicine. Of course, it should not be used for substitute, but in medicine, it sometimes is still used especially when person has strong uh, when person has disease with strong psychological component like chronic pains for example fibromyalgia or chronic low back pain uh, also placebo has some effectiveness in case of irritable bowel syndrome it decreases symptoms and depression also, another well-known example is uh, sham acupuncture in case of uh, low back pain, chronic low back pain. And <clears throat> we know what's acupuncture, right? We have acupuncture uh, points and you use acupuncture 
uh, to reduce pain or to stimulate immune system and um, such benefits. And sham ac acupuncture means you just using this manipulation, not acupoints. So you using these needles anywhere and you saying this person that it will have effect. That's, acu uh, that's sham acupuncture simple. So, and this sham acupuncture, which is placebo, also improves chronic low back pain as acupuncture and as conventional treatment. So sometimes, acu uh, sometimes placebo can be similar to conventional treatment. And such case is sham acupuncture in case of uh, chronic low back pain. Another example where um, placebo is similar, effective, similar uh, to uh, conventional treatment is asthma. When persons had asthma attack, uh, they were given uh, conventional uh, inhalators or placebo. And they had, both of them had improved symptoms and improved lung functions, which were objectively measured. So, uh, in case of asthma, placebo had objectively improved not only physical symptoms, but also lung functions. So, sometimes, sometimes, uh, placebo have similar effect of uh, conventional treatment. That's all what I wanted to say about placebo and nocebo. And I want to mention one important point here also. It's about expectations. If you have positive attitude and positive expectation, it's more likely to happen. More likely to happen on the level of your brain and if you have negative expectations, it's more likely to happen, also negative. So be positive. Thank you very much. Bye for now.